Okay, so welcome back again to this video tutorial for your CHN2, uh, a CHN1 lecture. And this is a continuation of our previous lectures, which is the Philippine Health Credit Review System. And previously, we have discussed um, the, the different characteristics of the Philippine Health Credit Review System, with the different uh, definition of terms. Uh, specifically, also we have discussed all about um, Department of Health, and um, um, we are going to discuss uh, in this video lecture the different uh, healthcare services and healthcare facilities, and uh, hopefully we can end this um, topic and we start on uh, the universal healthcare. Uh, program of the government so let's uh, start okay so based on our references and our previous lectures uh, there are three levels of healthcare services or facilities and these are classified into primary level of care secondary level of care facility tertiary level care of uh, level of care facilities and services and when we say primary level care of uh, facility or services, these are usually assigned, these are usually devolved to the cities and municipalities. And usually this is um, the first point of, uh, of uh, service or the first contact of service from the population to the different uh, level facilities. Uh, and second, um, we have the secondary level of care facility or services. These are usually rendered by physicians, by the doctors with basic health training or general uh, training in district, uh, provincial, and city hospitals. Okay? And tertiary level care is rendered by specialists in medical centers, regional hospitals, and specialized hospitals. So these are larger uh, facilities. And uh, to, ex to, to explain further, uh, when we say primary level of care, we are, um, we are uh, uh, referring to uh, services rendered to patients or to clients in fair health and in patients to, to patients who are in uh, uh, early symptomatic um, stages. So, mga... Uh, mga general signs and symptoms, early early stages uh, of, of diseases. And examples of these facilities are your rural health units or health centers, the chest clinics, uh, based on references, we have the malaria eradication clinics, and even those private clinics uh, owned by uh, private practitioners. Then secondary level of care, um, these are capable of uh, basic uh, surgical procedures and simple laboratory examinations. And this can serve as the referral center from the primary level facilities or the first level facilities. And patients here are those who are in the symptomatic stages of diseases. Um, uh, these facilities also have moderate specialized knowledge and technical resources and skills uh, examples are emergency hospitals provincial hospitals and district hospitals and then the third one uh, tertiary level facility um, this facility serves as the referral center naman ng secondary level facility and um, uh, this caters usually diseases which are usually threatened, uh, serious uh, cases, grave cases, terminal cases, and these cases which usually require a highly technical and highly specialized knowledge facilities and uh, even personnel. And so example nga po dito, mga medical centers, specialized hospitals, uh, regional hospitals so um, those are the three levels of healthcare 
based on facilities and uh, services. And then we have another, okay, this is based on a reference, uh, uh, another way of classifying the three levels of healthcare. So in hospitals, we have level one, two, three, which I have mentioned earlier. Then they added another classification, which is the specialty hospitals. Okay, just like in Metro Manila, when you say, when you, I don't know if you have heard or you're familiar with, uh, for example, Alang Center of the Philippines, Philippine Heart Center, uh, Mental uh, National Center for Mental Health, Orthopedic Hospital, or Orthopedic Center. So, uh, basing from the names alone, uh, you would know that these are specialized hospitals. Okay. Then other health facilities, we have primary care facility, custodial care, diagnostic or therapeutic facility, and specialized outpatient care. So I have placed this in our LMS, and this is under the Department of Health Administrative Order 2012-0012. Okay. So this uh, administrative order is also known as the new classification of hospitals and other health facilities in the Philippines. Okay, so the levels of uh, healthcare delivery assist, uh, uh, facilities or services remain, but the classification have uh, changed. Uh, uh, classifications change. To expound, okay, uh, there are three levels of healthcare. Category A, these are the primary care facilities. And uh, same with the first, uh, classification these are the first um, contact of services uh, from the population to other levels of uh, health care and uh, this is really uh, caters basic services emergency services and even normal delivery services um, this is further uh, classified into two one is with basic uh, sorry with with without inpatient beds so there is no confinement, there is no admission. Examples are health centers, outpatient clinics, and even dental clinics. Then second, we have in with inpatient beds. So pwede mag-confine, pwede mag-admit ng patient. These are usually known as infirmaries and even lying in uh, clinics for, for uh, delivery cases. So these are short-stay uh, facilities. Then category B. Uh, custodial care facility. Uh, this is longer in uh, duration in terms of confinement admission compared to the to the primary care facility. Uh, they provide food, they provide shelter, and um, this can cater chronic conditions uh, that require uh, nursing care and um, assist uh, patients who are uh, for rehabilitation. Okay. Examples are nursing homes and leprosaria for for lepers for for patients with leprosy and uh, rehabilitation uh, purposes. Then category C diagnostic or therapeutic facility. These are for uh, from those names alone. Uh, diagnostics um, examinations are usually done. Uh, uh, submission or collection and analysis interpretation of the results from the specimens for diagnosis are also done so these are with the presence of laboratories and um, and uh, treatment water analysis for 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 safety and portability is also present then category d these are uh, specialized outpatient facilities which performs highly specialized procedures on an outpatient basis. Examples are dialysis, and for dialysis, someone it 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 um, depends. There are some patients who needs to be patients who need to be admitted before or after um, um, their session, the dialysis session. Um, but for this context, we are referring to uh, outpatient facility. Then ambulatory surgical clinics. Uh, chemotherapy uh, clinic for cancer patients. Again, there are patients who needs to be admitted first, and there are patients who are in a in an outpatient status. 
radiation facility, uh, likewise for cancer patients, and rehabilitation uh, clinics. Okay. Then in connection also, uh, we have types of primary health care uh, workers. We have the village or grassroots, we have the intermediate workers, and we have the health personnel uh, of first-line hospitals. So this is briefly discussed in this table. Um, Village or grassroots workers are the initial link. It's the same with the primary uh, care facilities. They are considered to be first point of contact of service from the community to other uh, healthcare workers. They work in partnership with the local health service workers. Usually these are provided by the government and they provide elementary or basic preventive and curative healthcare uh, measures or interventions. Examples are trained community health workers, auxiliary uh, health workers, and trained birth attendants. Um, second is your intermediate healthcare workers. These are the first source of professional healthcare. So these are licensed, these are registered ones. Compared to some village grassroots workers, those are trained but not licensed, not um, professional ones. They are trained but not professional. Yeah. Attend to health problems beyond the competence of village health workers. Uh, provide support to frontline health workers. These are usually the general medical practitioners, public health nurses, the midwives. <clears throat> then the first, uh, the last one uh, of this type of primary, can you remember these are primary uh, workers health workers. So health personnel or first-line hospitals. Uh, these workers establish close contact with the village and intermediate level health workers and they provide backup health services to the uh, specialty ones or to the uh, hospital, first-line hospital. And uh, these are the physicians with specializations, nurses, dentists, uh, usually in the hospital. Okay? Uh, general nurses or even uh, specialized nurses in the first line hospitals. Okay. Then to wrap this up or to level this uh, aside from the presentation that we had earlier, um, as you can see, uh, other choose communities, hospitals, health centers, private practitioners, and the Barangay Health Station belong to the first level facility. They are here in the bottom at the bottom of the uh, triangle or pyramid or, or leveling then secondary level facilities are the provincial health centers or services provincial city hospitals and emergency dis or district hospitals then on the top or the tertiary uh, level of health care are the regional health centers services regional medical centers training hospitals as like in our case we have cvmc and National Health Services Medical Centers, Tertiary Training Hospitals. Okay, same applies to CVMC. So those are the three. Okay, then next one. Okay, we have this. Uh, I know this is posted in your. Um, this is posted in your LMS, the the structured uh, uh, rural health units. And one of the highlights here is the composition uh, of the RHU team. Okay? And the RHU team is composed of the municipal health officer or the city health officer or the physician who heads uh, the, the or leads the RHU facility. We have the public health nurses, the rural health midwife, we have the rural sanitary inspector, dentist, uh, med tech, pharmacist, and even the nutritionist and with these positions or with this uh, members of the team uh, corresponding number of population is is uh, provided uh, to them okay, or in ratio to these positions uh, for example one every 20,000 okay every 20,000 population that the city is or a, a municipality is composed one physician so to to Make it easier. One physician, one MHO is equal, is to twenty thousand population. One public health nurse is 
to 10 or 15,000 population. Okay? One rural, rural health midwife is to 5,000 population. Okay? One sanitary inspector is to 20,000 population. One dentist is to, is to 50,000 population. Okay? Then medtech, uh, one medtech is to 20,000 population. Okay? Then pharmacies, notitious, I think there's no um, specific uh, ratio to population. Okay, again, uh, to repeat, we have one physician is to 20,000 population. Public health nurse, one is to 10,000 to 15,000 maximum. Uh, rural health midwife, one is to 5,000. Then rural sanitary inspector, one is to 20,000. Then dentist, one is to 50,000 population. And medtech is one to 20,000 population. Okay, so there we have it in this uh, video tutorial. We have our uh, levels of facilities and care or services that they offer, that they cater, and also that uh, leveling of this uh, of these different uh, healthcare facilities and services, and also this uh, RHU compositions or team and their equivalent or ratio uh, population. Okay, so this will help you further in your review, in your understanding of our lecture. And uh, I hope uh, with the past weeks that we have encountered here in the province, in our valley, in our region, I hope you're all doing well, you're all good, especially with your families. And always trust God and know that you are a blessing. Uh, thank, I'll take this opportunity also to thank you for supporting our donation drive. For, for supporting the page and being a blessing to everyone. Stay safe and hope to see you soon. God bless.